for that. No, it's Julia. Ah, so we are going to go for Julia. But Bode plays a strong Julia as but well. Do you think Chanel knows that? You know, a lot of these Korean players probably don't have as much intel as the players here have of them. Yeah. So this is going to be interesting. So here we go. Someone that plays well, yeah. against Julia quite a bit in Bode. Yeah. Let's see. It's gonna be very so different. Sambo versus Chanel starting it off. Oh, interesting. Yes. That's guaranteed counter hit. Yes. And this is definitely going to move, going to go to, like you said, Julia has such a great wall carry in this game. And that's the thing too. We see more and more mix-ups and different style of mix-ups now just because of how Julia's changed quite a bit. Instead of using the bow and arrow, we're going to see, I believe, a lot of wall 73. Both in rage. Okay. So Looking to close it out. Okay. I don't think this is... Ah, uh, no, this is going to kill. <laughs> well, there's still time to subscribe in between the rage art finish. Oh, no. Oh, I did it. Kill. See, we were sure that we weren't sure. Oh. But one more hit could do it. Either way. I like the play. That oh. Bit. Oh, that whiff there for Sosamo could have taken One, it there, but two. just wasn't ready for that. One. Yeah, not ready at all. Here we go, the back three. Second hit on the... Oh, man, that was interesting. It's Sosamo just backing up there, trying to create that space. Probably looking for that while running, too. One of Dragon Ball's best tools. Be nice. Yeah, he has a lot of great pressure tools in the open. Yeah. Able to, you know, really take his turn back at almost any instance. Nice whiff punish. I like it, but the wall doesn't get the full combo. Yeah, but it's still a nice chunk of damage there. Life bar's just about even. You know, in a bad position, does not want to get wall splat. Oh, yeah, you gotta be careful. Oh, and you gotta be careful for the hop kicks. Yeah, that was great space in there by Chanel, and it's gonna go for the rage art again. It's gonna be one of those situations again. I'm not gonna call it, but if we get it, we get it. I think it's gonna kill. Yeah, this should kill, yeah. Twisting air, okay. Uh, all right. Round three. So Chanel, two rounds up. But I, I don't think Sasamo's done that bad. It's been quite close rounds. No, I mean, he had to use Rage Arts uh, both of those times towards the end of the rounds. So he's definitely putting in work. He's definitely whittled away at the life bar. But now he has to go for the kill. He has to be able to commit, go all the way. Nice side step two into the bow and arrow. Yeah. Down two, blocked. Yeah, okay, now he's going for those command throws. One of Dragon Off's probably um, underutilized tools. Oh, yeah, he has a complete throw game. You gotta be yeah. very wary of that. Ooh, here we go. Nice, able to control it. Okay, I like the blocking and defense there. Julian no longer has access to rage. And just walks into the hop kick. Oh, and this is probably gonna reach the wall. Yeah, yeah. and right. shades of the last round that we saw. I mean, that crucial hop kick at the right moment, and, you know, Chanel able to pull it off. Yeah, so it's, that, it's that thing about Tekken 7 now. I feel like when you get towards the end of the rounds, it's those lows, those little pokes. Sometimes these, these Koreans have such good reads, and as you saw right there, the hop kick many a time at the yeah. end of the round. Reads and composure, I would say, is like with a lot of these players, especially these well-traveled players that have played all around the world, players like Chanel, they're able to control their 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 style of gameplay and you know stay in that in that in that same you know zone no matter what. Yeah, it's very rare that we see them get you know get shaken. Yeah. Definitely space. I was watching Knee play earlier and I was thinking, this guy doesn't whiff. He's always in the correct range. He's, he's not swinging. He's not aiming at the defenses. He's always, all his moves seem to hit. Yeah. But yet, your moves seem to whiff. His moving is just great. And like I said, cross the board with these Koreans. Round one. Right, here we go. In the dojo. Yeah, we're into that dojo. Not falling for it. See, the thing is, once you make them aware of the counter hit ability that Julia has, you know, she has a forward one, she has the magic four, people are going to tend to not go in as much, and that really opens it up for a lot of her other offensive tools. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, off forward four. Going the other way, you know, that did a ton of... Oh, there was not enough life left. Yeah, that was a great read from Chanel there. Again, probably knew that, you know, while running two by the wall, you went to get a frame advantage and just was able to absorb it. Nice reading, gets get the low power. Now this is gonna go to the wall. Oh yeah, and it's gonna hurt too. And the oh, guaranteed follow-up yes. as well. Unscaled, by the way, yes. from that 4-4-3. Four, four, nice bow and arrow. Uh, Chanel's back is against the wall. And bow and arrow again, taking this. Chanel two rounds up on match point. Yeah, looking really good now. He's getting in a better offensive flow now. Maybe has a read on the timing here from Sersambo, but man, not looking good for our Italian hero. Just chopping away with those down twos. He's thinner down too. Okay, well Ooh. running. Oh, yeah. challenges. That's that's good. Sometimes you need to challenge it to let um, so Sam know you're not going to keep getting away with these plus frames. Oh, man. Not only the challenge with the down four too, but this time a challenge with the magic four and has the wall. And oh. the wall again. How many walls How many <laughs> walls were there? I only saw two there. Yeah, it's from the wall to the wall. Okay. Try to get the big launch. Unable to get it here. 
having another shot. Come on, Sir Sambo, able to put him in the red. Has an opportunity, that might be it. Yeah, that was a great conversion there by Sir Sambo. Able to take the flow and max, like, get the maximum capitalization on that. Yeah, I thought, you know, just because he had the float, he wasn't able to pull it off, but he was able to get it. Now has another opportunity with his train. Ooh, here we go. Keeps him at the wall. Where did that Okazemi? And Chanel not afraid to duck at the wall either. It's, it's crazy. He's blocked down twos at the wall in that same situation twice now. He blocks the first hit up. Oh, out. that was countering. Nice. Oh, here we go. The command throw. Italia. Chanel. Yeah, Chanel has not broken that command throw once. Maybe Sasamo needs to remember this and actually use it in the clutch situations like right there. Yeah. He needs to build up on it. And, you know, Chanel obviously knows as well that he hasn't broken it twice now. Yeah. Okay, Mad Action. Mad Action. Okay, it's delaying those two hits. He's got a slight life lead, but just chipping away back. So Sambo trying to save match point here. Oh, hey, man. I like how Chanel's playing. He's keeping him away using these little annoying pokes here. Oh, hoping for maybe a bigger, a bigger attack. We'll see. Yeah. He's probably going to... Puts the Samo into doing something, you know, annoying him with these little pokes, trying to make him overcommit. But now he's in the rage. Might be able to close it out here. One mix up oh, into the grab. Okay, here yes. we go. This could be it. This could be the start. Down two. Oh, oh that I wasn't it. Punish. That's not what he wanted. That's not what That's he wanted. Definitely not what he wanted. But the shotgun bang, able to close it out. Chanel taking it there. But you know, a very good effort there yeah, from very, Sambo. Um, Chanel didn't actually break one command throw there as well. Interesting. Man. Not one at all.